The folding and assembly of MHC class I molecules takes place in the lumen of the endoplasmic reticulum. The initial folding of the class I heavy, or alpha, chain is aided by the chaperone calnexin. The partially folded chain is transferred to a second chaperone, calreticulin, which aids the further folding of the chain and the association of beta-2 microglobulin. Other proteins, ERP57 and tapicin, associate with the nascent class I molecule, which binds to the TAP transporter via tapicin to form a peptide-loading complex. The peptides that bind to the MHC class I molecule are generated by a large protein complex, the proteasome, which is found in the cytoplasm. The proteasome degrades proteins within the cytosol of the cell to produce short peptides, which are then transported through the endoplasmic reticulum membrane by the TAP transporter. Some peptides do not bind to the MHC molecule at all. Others can bind, but are unstable. These are released from the MHC molecule, a process called peptide editing. Finally, a peptide binds to the MHC molecule with high affinity to make a stable complex. This causes the final step in the folding of the class I molecule to take place, and the dissociation of the peptide-loading complex. The peptide-loaded MHC class I molecule is now free to exit the endoplasmic reticulum and be transported, via the Golgi apparatus, to the cell surface, where it can be recognized by the antigen receptors of CD8 T-cells.